Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about this common objection, which well, I've heard many, many times, especially when I ask friends and students and clients to do, which is to invest time into their financial education and financial knowledge. And I'm sure you've heard of it before and possibly guilty of doing it as well. So I'm sure you hear before people saying like, ah, I'm just too busy, there's no enough time, I've got more important things to do. Yeah, you, you get it, right? So the reason I want to talk about this today is because uh, I understand that many of us have a thousand and one things to do, especially if you're in business or you have a family to manage. But the truth of the matter is that it gives us a perception that, by saying this, you know, it gives us a perception that we think that we're moving forward. But the reality is that actually we're running on the same spot, just like how we run on the treadmill. So I just want to share with you this one liner, which Tony Robbins uh, said, which gave me a very big realization. He said that you've got to start changing our focus to instead of what we have to do to actually what is most important to us. Does that make sense? So why is this so? Is because um, we have to focus on the more important things in our life rather than focusing on the firefighting stuff, you know, to check it off the list. I think this is the reason why that Anthony Robbins is so successful and be able to manage so many businesses as well as to have, still have time to make a positive impact to so many people around the world, right? So if you are one of the people who constantly struggle for time, I want you to click on the link below, which is the Telegram link, where I'm going to share with you management hacks, uh, money management hacks, uh, time management hacks, uh, latest update as well as my personal thoughts on a consistent basis. So until then, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to share with you another common objection. And stay safe, stay strong, stay positive, guys.